Well, finally a calm day for once. I can do an update video on this truck that I haven't done yet since the last derby. Oh, the mighty, mighty S10. This time I didn't lose both of my rear wheels. Didn't really do a whole lot in the back. This time I should say. Actually, I don't think I did an update after that. Well, I did, but it was too windy, so I never used it. But it don't look. I don't even have my battery in here right now. Broke my steering column off the dash. This tire got taken out. Completely just wrap the whole front end in yeah, steering column is not attached it broke off the little mounting tabs or whatever that's normally held on to I think I bent my floor too that's yeah, pulling away down there I took the hood off a little while ago Surprisingly, surprisingly, my radiator, uh, I mean, it's bent and everything, but there's only one little hole in it, and it's the same thing that happened to my last radiator. Is the little, the fan even kind of tucked down inside here and didn't get wrecked either. But that little clip on the end of that fan did the same thing to my other radiator. I thought I fixed it this time, but it just pokes one little hole in the center of the radiator and one of the just the little edge of the one of the fins. Otherwise, I haven't seen anything else that was actually a hole. I've seen it, you know, it's dinged it up and stuff, but it's still, at least it was the last time I looked, half full of. Uh, yeah, it's still got stuff down in there. So as bent up as it is, I still had a radiator until, well, like one of the last hits I made, you see it, it must have popped, and that's when I got a bunch of steam, but that was like one of the last hits I got. And it ripped this one out. It ripped this uh, brackets out. Bumper broke free again. That's why we ch chained it too. So it uh, wouldn't come off. This side did the same. This side didn't rip out completely though. It didn't stop my motor or anything. Uh, brakes, it screwed everything up over here. This is not even on there anymore. It won't stay on there. Bent everything. Everything is all packed up in there. It bent. I do believe it. Yep, it bent the whole whole uh, booster. I'm not sure what's going on with this frame. I mean, it's cocked, but I can't really tell where it's bent either. I know it bent down here. Started to pinch somewhere down in there. It started to pinch and fold. Yeah, this side bent here. It's starting to fold up. This side didn't. My steering's jammed up too because that fucking. I can't see there. That jammed into there. I know after the last run, the frame bent right behind the rear tires here, right where the frame rails come over. 
we pulled it down some and then we welded uh, some plates in there so that kept that from going up this time yeah this side bent in a few more spots the frame was bent last time too right here yep we pulled it down as best we could and we ran a bar on the top of the frame to hold it from going up some more and the frame was bent in a few other spots back here we pulled it as straight as we could and just I went with it my chains for the rear end holding the rear end down are still on this time I clamped my springs because I bent some of the leaves last time and the factory clamps came off so I was allowed to put those clamps in not a whole lot changed it still runs still drives don't steer because I got my tires stuck I got to put some different tires on it not sure what I'm gonna do with it if I'm just gonna cash it out or if I'm gonna try and run it again thought about putting a new clip on it and going again but at the same time the brake boosters fucked up I have to put different tire. I have to put smaller tires on this thing because these 235s are just too big on the front of this this truck. They are always rubbing and stuff. And by the way, these rims do not fit a two-wheel drive truck. They do not have enough offset. I actually have wheel spacers. I actually have two-inch wheel spacers inside here to give the tires enough clearance to clear because they will not clear the brake or they will not clear the uh, steering arm see now I have you know a little bit of room in there yeah because the factory two-wheel drive rims are you know the deep dished rims same thing in the back I had to go with a different rim these are like a Camaro rim or something I don't know they were just given to me because I had some rims like that on there but they don't don't leave any room between the frame and leaf springs and stuff like that in the back you cannot run those rooms on a two-wheel drive without doing some work or spacing them out and then in doing such things having these bigger tires to make the trucks sit higher you know they rub on everything I couldn't turn full all the time um, I did have my suspension clamped up a little bit to give it well basically I had as much height as I could get out of it with the suspension and then and then I put bigger tires on the front so it sat high enough so I didn't uh, didn't get hit in the front too bad. I was actually hitting the bumper to bumper with everybody. And this bumper is just a just a four and a half inch well pipe, like quarter inch thick with a the stock S10 bumper skin welded over the top of it. That's all it is for our rolls. We can run stuff bumpers and stuff like that. So it's just it's just they just make you put the skin over it, and sometimes they don't even do that. should have put my down bar on that side so that got closer to my battery box this time they pushed it all in pretty good I'll post some pictures I think along with this that I have of the truck from before and this time just to keep everything because I don't think I did a video from last time Well, let's see, the first time I ran it in Mapleton, I ended up with fourth place. I had no rear tires and I was hung up, my front bumper was actually sitting on top of the wheel of a van and I couldn't back off because I had no traction. One tire was just a complete rim, this side was just, just the rim and the other side I just had a tire on it that was, you know, it was still hanging on there but it wasn't doing anything. This time I ended up with fifth and I got hardest hitter. I don't know how I got hardest hitter. I mean, I did make some pretty hard hits a few times, but I ended up with that too. Yeah, I can't believe I stuffed this in so far and it didn't do anything. Wish I would have got video of a couple of the other trucks that we ran with that were in our group. They're gone. We scrapped them out already.
go look at uh, Aaron's uh, blazer that he ran in the same show. I think he did the I can't remember what happened to him last time. Well, last time he had a, a starter or something gave out. This time I think the starter gave out again. Well, he jammed the front end so high and cracked the transmission, so I think he pushed the, uh, the flywheels probably not lined up with the starter anymore. He just stuffed his straight up in the air, which is what happens. He put this big, big, big four by four or whatever five by five bumper pipe on the front, which just completely levered the frame up, pushed everything up and in. Um, that's why my bump, my front end didn't go up. My truck sits lower. And the way it sits in the bumper it doesn't crank on the frame so it didn't go up took a nice hit there and almost got to his battery you got hitting that door over there too huh broke his distributor too apparently no one of us noticed that until now it's, I don't know how we broke that transmissions cracked There was kind of a goof up on this setup and the transmission was mounted a little too rigid so we're pretty sure that's why that cracked when the front end went up. This was folding kind of nice. We had the frame notch so the back end would go up instead of down. I know some of these blazers and jimmies the ass end will go down. So it was, it was set up right to go the right way. And he got bumper poked in the door too in about the same spot mine was. I don't even know what place he ended up at. No, I got the farthest, even though I didn't get that far, but... I think every one of the trucks that we brought, the front end went up like this. Even the ones that didn't hit as hard, or did, because of the fact that the, the way the bumpers are mounted. It's all of, it's kind of a learning lesson for these. We've been building them. Putting this big, ginormous bumper on there, not a good idea. Mounting the bumper on top of the frame rails, also not a good idea. Folds up the same way. Mine so far has come out the, you know, the best idea so far was mounting it straight on the front of the frame, about as center as I could get it, with a not so huge bumper, and that seems to, my frame started to go up, but it didn't go up in the same way. My frame went up behind the motor, then this last round, then it started to go up on the one side in the front corner there. I don't know, it sits all funny now and I don't even, I know some of it has to do with the fact that there's no tire on the one side. But it still sits really low to the ground, I don't know, the front suspension's collapsing, the springs are collapsing. It seems to sit lower every time. I can't always find where it's bending, so I'm, and it's a combination of both, I'm sure, but... Definitely, definitely probably going to just tear this one apart. Also, I think the frames are different on the two-wheel drives. Well, they, obviously they're different, but I know the other two-wheel drive ones are grand. The one guy, that side over there particularly on his, went completely up and in. Of course, his bumper was mounted across the top of the frame so it had more leverage to tilt it. This side didn't give, but that might be partly because of the, the steering box might have keeps that side from doing that, I'm not sure. This is all just a guessing game and a learning experience as far as building these mini trucks because uh, this is the first one I've ran. First one I've put together.
and his frame was already starting to roll up the first time he ran it it kinked the frame right there and it went up and this time didn't even take that much effort and it just completely folded it up and in but that's an update video on the derby vehicles about time for winter so we're gonna probably pack up pack up everything for winter I got a few vehicles I might run yet well not run this year but probably run next year <sighs> and I got lots of derby videos and stuff to upload yet I uploaded my main ones so if you haven't go check them out I got a bunch of videos to upload yet so I'll get caught up here sometime but this is kind of just a update on things